Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and today I wanted to share with you a really quick um, recipe, even though it really isn't a recipe, and I really debated on making this video, except on my Instagram a, a few weeks back, I posted a picture of my green juice, and so many people asked, what's in it? We want a recipe, we want a recipe. Make a recipe on Laura in the Kitchen, uh, Laura in the kitchen about what you put in your green juice. So that's what I'm doing today. It might help some of you that you kind of have no idea where to start. It definitely did for my husband. He was like, okay, what goes in a green juice? So this is what we really, really, really love. The recipe that I'm using requires a few ingredients. I've got some frozen grapes and some frozen watermelon. I've also got some fresh kale, raw, make sure it's washed. I've got some cucumber, lemon, I've got some celery, and an apple. And I also have a pinch of cayenne pepper because this the cayenne pepper kind of balances out the sweetness from the grapes and apples and also the sharpness of the lemon. Now obviously this is kind of like the base. A lot of people make it kind of similar to this and I this is just kind of what I found that I the mixture that I love. The grapes and the watermelon, I have them frozen in my freezer at all times because they're great in cocktails, they're great for smoothies, and I find them to be delicious in this recipe. Not only do they add sweetness, but they also act like ice, so I don't have to add more ice to it. I mean, you could if you wanted to. So this is as simple as it is. I take a big handful of kale. I usually use kale, but I've also used baby spinach as well, and it works great. Whatever's fresh, farmer's market, whatever's growing around you, put it in here. I go kind of heavy on the kale. I've got an iron deficiency, so dark greens are really, really good for that. That's why I really go heavy handed on it. Then I take my cucumber, um, peel and all. If it's, now this is one thing I will say. If you're going to use the, pe the outside of a fruit, you know, like I'm using the peel of the cucumber, the peel of my apple, you do want to buy organic only because that way you know there's no pesticides going in the body. I'm not going to force you to, I'm just telling you to. I've got my apple in there. I've also got my frozen grapes and my watermelon, my cayenne pepper, and I'm going to squeeze the lemon, um, half a lemon. I don't put actual pieces of lemon in it because the white part of the lemon is really bitter. I don't like the way that makes my, my juice taste, so I don't put that in. And to help it along, a touch of water helps. All right. If you don't have a super powerful blender, you might want to be careful because you don't want to break your actual blender. Um, and if you're using a regular blender, you're going to need to strain this. I'm not going to strain it. I keep it all in there. I want all the fiber. I want every single piece of that vegetable, so it's fine with me. You could also use an actual juicer, but I'm in love with this blend tech, so that's what I'm using. I'm just going to hit the whole juice and let it go. <laughs> Looks good, smells delicious. Mm. I'm gonna save that for my hubby. I'm gonna put his over ice. I don't put extra ice in mine because I don't like things too cold. I have very sensitive teeth. This is like our favorite blend, but I will let you know. I've substituted peaches instead of apples. I've put in blueberries. It does change the color a little bit, but hey, it still tastes really good. I've added orange, I've added tons of different things and for me as long as I've got really good kale or spinach or any kind of really dark dark green is the base for me and then I kind of go from there you know whatever you like whatever's in season whatever's in available in your farmers market throw it in there it's the best I drink mine every single afternoon at 3 30 p.m. that's my snack time um, when I'm home anyway and it's just a tr it's something that my husband and I look forward to and it's great Hop on over to LauraInTheKitchen.com to get the written recipe. Um, even though, like I said, you can put whatever you want into it. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.